My name is Brent Mattel Alderson. I'm the editor-in-chief of FightFanNation.com. Since our last report at 12 a.m. December 26, there's been a number of occurrences in the negotiations for a fight between Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather, which is scheduled for March 13th at the MGM Grand. First off, on Saturday, December 26th in the daytime, Golden Boy Promotions conveyed to the press as well as to Team Pacquiao that they would be willing to use another agency besides the United States Anti-Doping Agency, which is an agency that's used to test its Olympians during the Olympics and it has very, very stringent regulations. I mean, they test Olympians, they test guys all the time. In fact, in 2008, um, there was an Olympic sprinter that complained. He actually won the gold medal from Jamaica, and he complained that they took four random blood tests the week of the event, and he, he felt like it weakened him, even though he gave a winning performance. So, again, the United States Anti-Doping Agency is very stringent. Um, they're very, probably very hard to deal with for the fighters. It's, it, it's probably going overboard to, to use them. And, and, uh, and they came out, Golden Boy, and said, you know what, we can use another agency. And during the week before, Bob Aaron said, you know what, let's use an organization from the MLB. Uh, let's use an organization from the NFL, the National Football League. Let's use another organization that will be a little less stringent and, and able to, so we can use it and they can actually work with us and, and, and not against us. And so then finally... After a, a Golden Boy conceded to that demand and said, okay, let's use an outside agency, Aram came back and said, you know what, why do we need an outside agency? And he rejected all blood tests and he said, you know what, let's have the Nevada State Athletic, Athletic Commission side. Uh, they, have a, they have a meeting coming up, I think it's January 16th or January 19th, and he said, you know what, let's leave it up to them. If they require more tests, we'll do them. If they don't, we don't. And he's like, you guys can petition to ask for them, and if they don't make us, then we won't. If they, if they make us, we will. And that's pretty much his stance on, uh, on Saturday daytime. And then, um, and this is what he had to say. He said, we'll let Nevada commission decide, said Aaron. And Nevada says we need to do more testing, we'll do more. If they don't, we don't. We won't. And then he told Sports Illustrated over the weekend as well. This is unprecedented, said Aaron. Our expert says blood tests are ridiculous, but we'll let the commission decide. They're the governing body. And again, already in the weekend, Aaron was threatening to pull Manny Pacquiao out of the fight and set him up for a fight with Paul Manaji, and, and he told Sports Illustrated that deal will take about an hour to make. And then um, and, and Schaefer and, uh, and Richard Schaefer and, and Team uh, Mayweather, they were not receptive to um, Aram's offer to leave it up to the Nevada State Athletic Commission to sign. And this is what he told uh, Yahoo Sports, Richard Schaefer, over the weekend. It does not make sense for this to become a commission matter. This is a contractual matter. The commission not decide the weights or the purse or how the foreign television rights would be sold. And then uh, Leonard Ellerby, who's uh, pretty much uh, Floyd Mayweather's right-hand man, had a similar comment on Yahoo Sports. And he said, random is random. We're intelligent people. We know what random testing is. This is what we want. It has not changed. And then uh, on Monday, on Monday, the LA Times reported that the Nevada State Athletic Commission is going to get involved, and they ordered blood tests to be taken by Wednesday. And this is what was in the LA Times report. The chairman of the Nevada State Athletic Commission has ordered Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather Jr. to take immediate out-of-competition urine tests, even as the sides bicker heatedly over a drug testing policy that threatens to scrap their scheduled March 13th mega fight in Las Vegas. Nevada State Athletic Commission Chairman Pat Lundvall ordered Executive Director Keith Kaiser to appoint uh, Mayweather and Pacquiao to accredited drug testing labs in the United States and Philippines, respectively, for tests that must be completed by Wednesday, Kaiser told the Times. The tests will be paid for by Nevada and are consistent with World Anti-Doping Agency guidelines, Kaiser said. It's a start, Kaiser said. Whether it's the end, I don't know. And that's the thing, guys. There's a lot of pressure on a lot of people to make this fight happen. And we know when we're in a worldwide recession right now, Las Vegas is really hurting. I mean, you can buy a huge 3,000 square foot rent house right now in Las Vegas for 120000 I mean, it's hurting. I mean, that town is based on people's discretionary income. When people lose money and people are hurting their own money in their pocket, you think they're going to go to Vegas and sit down at the tables and blow $1,000? No. The first thing people pay are their car, their house, their food, their necessities. And Vegas is pretty much, you know, lives off of discretionary income. And so this fight, though, even though it might only be for a two or three week period, this fight's going to bring money to Vegas. It's going to make uh, Las Vegas the centerpiece of the world for about a three week period. And, and Vegas needs that. And that's why they're stepping in, because they want to see this fight happen, as do many other people. Um, 
And then on, and then there was a report on uh, ESPN by Dan Raphael and, and Manny Pacquiao released a statement, and supposedly these are his own words. And let me just go ahead I'm, and read most of it. Um, I'm still willing to fight Floyd Mayweather. This is from Manny Pacquiao again. I'm still willing to fight Floyd Mayweather Jr. I never said the fight was off, or or I do not want to fight him. I will fight anyone at any time, and my record and past fights prove that. I have never and will never dodge anyone. Those are my specifications for this fight regarding blood testing. I have offered to give a blood sample the day of the announcement of the fight at the press conference. I have offered to give a blood sample 30 days before the fight, and I am willing to give blood immediately after the fight is over inside my dressing room. I am also willing to give a urine test at any time, anywhere, every day leading up to the fight. The truth is, taking blood on my body does not seem natural to me, and mentally I feel it will weaken me if blood is taken from me just days before the fight. That does not make sense to me why anyone would do that. These accusations of using any performance enhancing drug supplements are totally unwarranted and unjustified. And then he said, if Floyd Mayweather Jr. has not accept these terms, then my promoter will find me another fight for March thir the 13th. Again, I will fight anyone at any time. I would always like to be known for my honor and my integrity. I will always be known for my courage and my willingness to face any man at any time in my career. If Floyd Mayweather Jr. truly ever wanted to fight me and he's not really scared, he would accept these terms I'm willing to give him as they are above and beyond what the commission demands. I should not have to prove myself as I have always done what the commission has asked me to do and have never ever swayed from that. Never has there been a time when anything I've ever done has been in question. I stand behind my honor and my integrity. I stand below God and my country. I stand with my fans and I hope Floyd is not really a coward and will fight me and give the fans what they want to see. I am not afraid to fight Floyd anywhere, anytime. And that's, you know, that's a positive. Manny Pacquiao, even though he doesn't want to, you know, adhere to uh, Mayweather's request, he's saying, I want Floyd Mayweather. I'm willing to fight Floyd Mayweather. And then uh, over here, um, this is what Bob Arum, I mean, uh, this is what Richard Schaefer told Fat House and Phil Boxing. He's getting, guys, things are kind of turning bad. Richard Schaefer, uh, Bob Arum saying, threatening, saying if it wasn't done today, Monday, uh, December uh, uh, 28th, he said that, you know, we're going to move forward with another fight for Pacquiao. And this is what Richard Schaefer, he said, you know what, They're, they don't want the fight to happen. The fight's not going to happen. This is what Richard Schaefer said to Fat House. Uh, as well as footboxing.com. I think this is a hard-nosed negotiation uh, which is going to ultimately kill the fight because it sounds to me like that Bob Arum is already working on getting another fight done. If Arum walks away, then we obviously will start discussions in that regard. But right now, unlike Top Rank, which is pretty much said for the last week, we don't need this, we don't need this, and has been saying deadlines, we've been trying to save the fight. Based on the ultimatums that Top Rank has issued, it seems like this is not going to happen. It seems to me that they have made up their mind and they want to go on a different route. And if they're walking away from this, then we're walking away from this. And then that was Richard Schaefer's over the, uh, uh, response over the weekend um, to fathouse.com uh, as well as um, philboxing.com. And then Golden Boy uh, uh, Promotions released a statement today, and this will be the final thing. This is released um, today, noon. December 28th, West Coast time, the United States, California time. Let the record be clear. I got this in an email from Monica Sears, who's a publicist for Golden Boy Promotions. And this is what the Golden Boy uh, press release said. Let the record be clear. Money Pacquiao's promoter Bob Arum are threatening to walk away from the largest fight in history. The fact is that random blood testing and urine testing was one of the many deal points and was listed along with the others, such as the financial split, the weight, financial pen penalty for being overweight, the appointment of the foreign sales agent, the production of the marketing assets, the gloves, and many more. Team Mayweather made major concessions in many of these areas and were optimistic that Team Pacquiao would do the same as it related to the request for random blood and urine testing, which Floyd Mayweather agreed to immediately. It is disappointing for us at Golden Boy to see that the benefits of blood testing and the fact that many different substances and procedures can only be detected by blood testing are still not fully understood by all. Their take-it-or-leave-it approach where blood testing would stop 30 days prior to the fight unless the Nevada Athletic Commission approved differently is another indication that they may not want this fight. Pacquiao's position is, and which I read earlier, 